done is set up uh, trial a multi-species uh, crop or pasture crop uh, versus uh, comparing that to a barley crop um, in a grazing trial. Now, um, so I'll just move on here. Uh, the paddock was subdivided in, into two paddocks, two six pair paddocks each, both paddocks that were pasture cropped. Um, areas were raised heavily and, and we did use herbicide on this because this is a, a, an MLA funded land care a, a, a slash trial. So I wanted to make sure that we that we did it did it right. Um, so I did use flow rates of, of a herbicide called Basta, and, and there's more information again on that in this course. Um, it's a desiccant. It's different. It works in a different way to, to, to Roundup. I'm not saying any herbicides are good at all, but it, it's kinder to perennial plants. That herb, that particular herbicide, won't kill perennial plants. Um, anyway, it was sown on on the 10th of March this year. So. Uh, what the main thing we obviously said that we, we were monitoring, the main thing we are monitoring was, was lamb weight increases, but we also are uh, monitoring for soil carbon, change in perennial species diversity, uh, crop biomass, soil chemistry change and profit uh, as well. Uh, the main uh, data we've got back at the moment uh, is uh, the lamb, in, lamb weight increases. Now, just some information on, on, on the crop itself. In what the barley crop, single species crop was sown with barley at 50 kilos per hectare. We put a conventional fertilizer on it with, with crop lift 15, which has nitrogen, phosphor, uh, phosphorus and sulfur. The multi-species crop had uh, also had barley, but at 30 kilos, it, it reduced the rate of barley on it. It had field peas, faba beans, forage, brassica, tillage radish and turnip. Those, uh, at the rates that you can see on the screen. It also had the same rate of fertilizer on it. The cost of seed, and all this is, is, is important, we need to know what, what all this stuff costs. Now, I valued, because the Australia had been in a, in, a, in, a, in a drought for three years, the cost of buying uh, uh, cereal seeds is it, this year has been very expensive, $2,000 a tonne, which is it, it totally, out, out, out of the ballpark. The, so I had some barley here and we used it and we valued it at, at, uh, at, at a no, more normal price of around about $500 a tonne uh, to get these figures of, you know, a, a bit sensible. So 50 kilos of barley was, was worth $100 a hectare, just, just for the cost of the seed. The multi-species mix was worked out to be $143 a hectare. Um, so we'll move on from that. Um, in total, the total cost of each of those was the multi-species uh, crop was $183 a hectare for seed and fertilizer. Cost of the barley crop was $140 a hectare seed and fertilizer. We put the lamb, split the lambs uh, in, in half um, and we put uh, 217 lambs on each of those 16 hectare uh, paddocks. Um, for two months. We didn't rotate them, we just simply left them there uh, so that we weren't going to be influencing or changing any, any of the data. The grazing results, <clears throat> I'm not going to go through this graph, um, but uh, it, it, it'll be available for you to have a look at um, in more detail. What I have got, and this is a bit messy, but I'm going to simplify this, 200, I said the numbers are on a while ago, 228 lambs on each paddock for 57 days. The weight gains per day on the barley crop, single crop, was, was roughly one and a half grams per day. On the multi-species crop was 300 grams, so uh, virtually double. The weight gains in 57 days or, or virtually two months was eight and a half kilos on the barley crop and 18 kilos weight gain on the multi-species crop. Looking at, at, at lamb, lamb prices are, are, are very high at the moment. Dressed lamb prices are, they're actually close to $8, so, but I used $7 here, to be conservative, and then Merino lambs as well. So that, that the, the, the increase on it, the increase in weight on, the, on this paddock on the barley crop was $33 per lamb, compared to $63 per lamb 
increase. So if we bought lambs, put them on there, uh, that's the profit we could make on, on each of those. Um, the, the profit per hectare, which is interesting uh, in itself, the profit per hectare is we're running 38 lambs per hectare, um, uh, was $1,100 on, the, on the, the barley and $2,500 profit on the multi-species crop. That's minus the sowing crops. Now, that uh, is, is quite, quite amazing, really. I don't think that that work has ever been done before. As far as I know, it's the first time it's actually been done, comparing a single species crop on, on, uh, compared to a multi-species crop. Um, so, but additional benefits, it's, it's not just simply the, the weight gains. We, we, remember, this is pasture crop as well. We can sow multi-species crops by ploughing and, and, and conventional agriculture. But these are the additional benefits if we pasture crop them, are those multi-species crops as well. We get, we, what we, we obviously get uh, improvement in, in, in animal health, uh, insect control, cell structure, nutrient cycling, water infiltration, soil carbon, and, 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 and improvement in the soil ecosystem. And while, while we're doing that, we're actually also restoring the grassland as well. So there's a lot of benefits in this. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like to know more about Smart Soil or see more content like you've seen just then, um, be sure to sign up below and also check out our online course with Colin Sice.